Let's look at the equation of a circle. The standard form for the equation of a circle with radius r and center hk is given by the following formula. Let's think about why this is true. Well, if the center is at hk, then this here is h, and this is k. Now remember that a circle is a set of all points x, y in the plane that are at an equal distance r from the center hk, which means by the distance formula that this distance r is equal to the square root of the difference in the x coordinates squared, so x minus h squared, plus the difference in the y coordinates squared, so y minus k squared. And then squaring both sides gives us r squared is equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, which is our formula. All right, let's look at an example. Let's find the equation of a circle with radius 4 and center negative 1, 2. So the radius r is equal to 4. The x-coordinate of the center h is equal to negative 1, and the y-coordinate of the center k is equal to 2. So let's plug those values into our standard form here, which gives us x minus a negative 1 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4 squared, or x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 16, which is the equation we're looking for. Let's look at another example. Now, what if we're given the equation of the circle, but it's not in standard form, like this one here? How would we find the radius and center of the circle? What we'll need to do is complete the square on the x terms and complete the square on the y terms. So let's start by grouping these together. We have this x squared term here and this negative 8x here. So let's group those together. We have x squared minus 8x, and let's leave a little bit of room, and then plus these y terms, we have y squared and 10y. So we'll group these together as well and leave a little bit of room, which is equal to negative 32. All right, let's complete the square on these x terms. Now remember the first step in completing the square is to make sure that the coefficient of the square term is one, which it is here. And then what we do is we take one half the coefficient of x which in this case is negative 8, which gives us negative 4. And then we square this. So we have negative 4 squared, which is equal to 16. And then we add that number to both sides of the equation. So we have plus 16 here and plus 16 here. Now let's do the same thing with the y terms. Again, the coefficient of y squared is 1. So we take one half the coefficient of y, which in this case is 10, which gives us 5, and then we square this. 5 squared is 25, and then we add this to both sides of the equation. Now both the x terms and the y terms will form perfect squares, namely x minus 4 quantity squared plus y plus 5 quantity squared, which is equal to negative 32 plus 16 plus 25. And 16 plus 25 is 41, and then minus 32 is 9. And so now it's in this standard form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So comparing our equation to this standard form here, we see that h is equal to 4, k is equal to negative 5, be careful here, plus 5 means minus 
a negative 5. So k would be negative 5. And our r would be 3, because 3 squared is 9, which means the radius is 3, and the center, hk, is 4, negative 5. And this is how we work with the equation of a circle. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.